Yo, man, we back, man. Good oh, Hennessy yeah. show. Oh, yeah. Got the homie Job Beats in the building. So oh, yeah. Man. Welcome to the Good Hennessy show, man. Hey, appreciate to be here, man. All good, man. How you doing, man? I'm doing great, man. Man, I, I love when people come on with that spirit tone, man. Just doing great. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah. no complaints or nothing like that, man. Right. And, uh, I mean, there's a million things to complain about, but I ain't worried about For it. what? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, yeah. what, right? Yeah. Just don't be here anyway, so. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. So, you know, before we went to break, man, I was telling y'all, um, I was introduced to this guy, like, during the uh, No Genre Showcase over at the Music Room um, during A3C. And, man, he came on, man, and, and, I, and I, I hate that I don't remember the name of the record. But it was one record that you performed, man, and I almost lost my mind. Mm. Like, dead serious, I almost lost my mind. And I was like, you know, Playboy Trey was kind of to the back. And I'm just looking at him trying to, you know, get his, get his attention, like, yeah right. you know what i'm saying like yeah it, and I don't, I don't know if you remember your set from that night yeah i, I know i got some footage too i should have found that before i came up here but man like the brother got i think i hit you too that night did i hit you I, you I told I, me yeah you oh, told man. me this the guy right here that's this it the right, guy right here man so you know kind of walk us through your journey man because i i want to say you started out with production right that's was that the beginning for you yeah it was i started out uh making beats Kind of just fooling around with equipment mm-hmm. at a time, and then I realized I could plug the microphone up <laughs> the same spot as the keyboard, and I was like, "Ah, oh, man, I really want to wait on somebody to, you know, get on these records." I really didn't know how it worked. Mm. I'm like 13, 14. Mm. And then before I knew it, I was like, "You know what? I guess I'm gonna do it." Right. You know, and since then I just kept practicing. I was recycling verses. <laughs> <laughs> I made one beat, I rapped the verse, I make another beat, and I rap that verse yeah. again. Right. You yeah. know? But then, you know, I, I kind of grew into it. And by the time I was like a senior in high school, I really fi- figured out what I wanted to talk about, all these things. So, you know, and then by then I started taking off. That's, that's, mm-hmm. not, <laughs> you know, some man, I appreciate you, man, just for saying that. Like saying you recycled them verses. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> some people don't want to say that. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, you tell them what it is. Um, that that moment for you though, like when you were, you know, you plugged the, the mic into the keyboard and you and you figured out that you can really rap. Mm-hmm. At what point did you say like, oh no, I really can rap? Like this don't have to be a hobby. Like this could really become a career. Probably the moment I started writing, I wasn't writing any of those times. Like I was saying whatever. I was talking about t-shirts and mm-hmm. you know, <laughs> like random, just like the most random things ever. Yeah. So uh, I. I think it hit me after one moment I actually was like talking about a girl and even though I was still freestyling you know my family looked at it and they're like yo that's a that's a real nice song <laughs> so I'm like yeah you know I really don't rap or whatever but you know it kind of came around to to where I started doing more songs and I started kind of pinning down the subject mm. you know and then I was like okay I'm actually I'm actually talking about something and then I started rapping with other people who, and then they, who were some of them people man what, oh these, these are these are random people like friends from high school or whatever and you know and then they come back and they're like yo you, you know you body does <laughs> you know and it's like and i'm like I, I really don't know i'm just yeah i'm just being me i really don't know if i'm rapping or not rapping you know you know and when i go back to those records i feel like they bodied me mm. you know i look at it and i'm like man he rap better than me the whole time like, man man you cool. I'm talking about them old humble, humble ass answers. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> how you end up? How you end up getting up with Trey? How that came about? Uh, figure uh, actually, there was an open mic exposure open mic when it first opened up. Okay. Uh, a friend of mine called me and told me he's like, "Hey, try an open mic." This is the point where I've been hustling open mics for two, three years, and I'm mm-hmm. like, "It's over," and I ain't doing no more open mics. Mm-hmm. And I'm just like, all right, I'll go. Just like, yeah, you can bring somebody for free, you know. You know, the whole starting off. Yeah. Yeah, so, you know, I, uh, I just went, man. And I I was on the back of that list. I was on the back of the back of the list. Mm. I ended up performing at, like, 3 in the morning. Mm. I'm like, I remember one of them days. lists. Yeah, man. <laughs> for I'm sure. Like, man, ain't nobody see me, you know, went about my business. And that was the actual, the actual day I met Playboy Trey. Mm. But, you know, it's just kind of a stage thing. So, I'm like, yeah, I don't know if he remembers me or whatever. mm mm-hmm. Yeah, we end up getting calls like weeks later, and by then I ran into, you know, I kept running into him, got his contact, and from that point on, it's been popping. Yeah, it took took the opportunity. That's dope. Definitely. 
So man, what's uh, so so yeah, I was gonna ask you, but it's, it's already been out there now because I, I read your name, and then he said you rapped. See, I was thinking you were just producing. Yeah. But you decided to keep the name, with the beats on the end. Well, I, believe it or not, I just had I had a lot of names. I ran in, I had a lot of names as, you know, as you grow. Right. You know, uh, and that was, that was one of the names. Like I was, yeah, I was making beats. I was making beats more than I was rapping. I had, you know, I had more mixtapes with just beats. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> just rapping gotcha. Than, uh, what, I just what? stuck with the name. It was nothing. It was nothing worth changing. Mm. What's your, what was that first rap name, man? I, I know, know right. Let, 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 me, <laughs> let me hear it, man. I know it's some type of superhero. <laughs> nah, but, <laughs> believe it or not, it's, uh, it's not bad. And, you know, I'm, I'm actually cool with it. It was actually uh, Big J. Okay. And of course, J, because, you know, my real name's John. And, right. Uh, I was kind of chubby. Gotcha. And gotcha. I didn't want to be Lil So and So. Yeah. That, so I was just like, I'm just going to be big. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. So, what what does the jock come from then? How did you uh, get? Well, my name is Jean. Okay. And it's uh, French. So, you know, Jean Beats is kind of hard to say. Gotcha. So, I just kind of changed the ending. And I was like, all right, it'll be Jacques Beats. Gotcha. So, yeah, that's how it's actually catchy. pronounced. But everyone, you know, just calls me Jacques. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, man. So, you know, you in this, this um, because I, I was reading up on you. I know you, uh, you produce for um, Lecrae. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, you you produce with uh, no genre count. Who else you um you know did records for? Uh, I did records with uh, Kevin Gates. Kevin Gates, yeah, yeah, yeah that was mm -hmm. and, um, Bob. And these are these are kind of recent. They're about a they're about a year old now. Mm -hmm. But I just got my award from uh, Lecrae's album. The um, uh, he did the, the Anomaly album. Oh, yeah. Wait, okay. Yeah, he got a, a GMA Dove award. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Yeah, they uh they sent that to me in the mail. Mm -hmm. I'm happy about that. Uh, my friends call me every day, and they're like, "Look, man, they won't stop playing pouring the syrup." Yeah, <laughs> Kevin Gates, they won't stop playing that in school. <laughs> I'm like, hey, that ain't my fault. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's dope. Yeah. How did that connection come about with you and um? Well, you know, first you and Lecrae because that's um, I mean that ain't let's call it what it is. That's a that's a big placement, bro. Like Lecrae is really moving out here. You know what I mean? How did that happen? Well, I'd like to think. Uh, uh, a friend, a good friend of mine, Casey Rochelle, for being uh, for writing the hook. Mm. You know, probably if it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't get that placement. Gotcha. You know, um, and it's a, it was a, it's a real personal feeling hook. Mm -hmm. You know, and the whole record was real personal. So I felt like if he had, you know, he probably was going through him. He's like, you know, I got something to say. Yeah. You know, and this is this is that one record. It's not like, you know, I wasn't forcing it to be a single or whatever the case was it was a real personal record and then he took it and he made something out of it yeah mm -hmm. dope man and the um the other record that you were on was the um i mean not the other app but the um, my, my mind just went blank is the kevin gage record yeah i don't get tired man i, I am getting tired <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> i am getting tired i'm sorry y'all yeah, yeah yeah that was a that was a lucky that was a lucky move for me huh the, the record with Kevin. Tired, no, really? no, 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 not not on get tired. No, no, out, the, tired oh, okay. Porn and syrup. Porn syrup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was on the same mixtape, bro. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Go yeah. ahead and claim it, man. It's all yeah, good, man. <laughs> <laughs> See, the reason why he wrote on get tired because he, you know, no, okay, you know, it felt good, but you know, like I made a nice, I made a nice, uh, nice little chill beat, mm -hmm. and uh, before I knew it, Kevin Gates picked it up. There it was. I was, uh, mm. and I heard it. I'm like, oh, there. Man, there it is, you know. Yeah, and I'm yeah, like, yeah. I read the mix. I'm like, I'm actually there. Yeah, you, you know? on the credits. Yeah, for real like, for real. A credit, a credit is something like everybody wants to see. Yeah. How'd that hey, feel to you, man? Game. When you first first seen that right there. Man, I didn't, I didn't know how to react. You know, I played it out right. in my mm -hmm. mind like a million times. I'm like, yeah, I'm about to you see this credit. I'm about to do a backflip. I saw the <laughs> credit and was like, by mm -hmm. the time I saw the credit, I knew what was coming because I had a million other credits mm -hmm. that were about to come out. So. I saw that credit and I was just like, yeah, I'm about to have about five more of these and keep them coming. Right. You know, then you get a few followers, they comment, yeah, man, we love pouring the syrup, you know. So, yeah, it, it was, uh, I expected to be here and I was here, not in a disappointment way, but it was just that by the time I got it, I just knew I had to go and get more. Right. Yeah. Right, 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 right. That's a good feeling. Perfect yeah, answer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely, definitely. 
you know yeah. i'm just thinking about just your career man and i was on youtube looking around at um and you had like these documentary videos that you put up where it was like it was just you it looked like you were just having fun man like y'all were out on tour That's and really uh what it was. you know with the camera phone and like i'm telling you like Henderson, you gotta check it out it's like him literally like going around and like he might catch uh Playboy trade doing something crazy, you know. What I'm saying <laughs> him, and, him in London was like y'all were having a ball, like y'all were having a ball on tour. Oh yeah, definitely. It's one, it's this one scene, bro. Like <laughs> they on a plane and like they ain't took off yet, but huh. the dude next to them is like knocked out, yeah. like he like gone. Like you would think they was on a five hour flight and they were on hour four, but like he, bro, was knocked out and they ain't even moved yet. They were just, it was, it was just funny. It was good to see, you know, just kind of seeing like tour through your eyes you know what i'm saying yeah. and like so kind of give up talk about that experience a little bit and um you know just that life was that your first time like really being out no nah, that was actually probably the second or third time okay okay at that time um well well my in the words of my manager be rich he would tell me you know like <laughs> they know it's like we know your personality mm -hmm. you know we know you like to joke around when the work is done and etc he's like everyone else doesn't know that so i was like let's make these videos and you know see how it works so this is uh this is us flying to Miami. You know, we're doing some work. This is for about a week, I'd say, a few mm -hmm. days. And every everything was a joke. Like yeah, we yeah, got yeah. you know, we got on the plane, London's texting me, he's like, Yeah, I'm not gonna make it to the flight. I'm like, What? Like, you know what I'm saying? We're about to board. We're like, What? You ain't about to make it? He's like, Yeah, I ain't about to make it. And he was like standing in front of me. <laughs> like, I just didn't know. I was like, You even make it? And he turned around, he's like, Yeah, I'm not gonna make it. <laughs> You know, he's like just, just simple things, just playing yeah. around. So you know, we get on the plane and I'm just shooting videos. Like I don't got nothing to talk about. And then we see uh, a dude get on with two kids, and his kids are like fighting. They're yeah. fighting. You know, they're young, so they're like fighting, playing around. And he, I think he made himself pass out. No, oh, it was just moment. like he was like, just like, I gotta get away. Yeah. And he like <laughs> dropped. And we turn around, we like, he sleep. <laughs> we like, nah, he ain't sleep. He woke up like two minutes after that video. That's crazy. That's that's definitely crazy, man. I was looking at your catalog, man. So, cause you, you out here, you doing um your, your albums and your most recent project, um, dang, and it's leaving me now. Um, I just was looking at it here. Hennessy, talk while I look this up, man. Talk while talk talk real quick, yeah. Wait, is it possible I can ask him a question? Yeah, go ahead. All right. Being that he's of a younger age, can we ask him? Oh, here we go. <laughs> what would be his top five? No, they ain't on that list. Like, like I knew five, this question was coming. Five, top five. I was trying to save you from it, man. Yeah, I, I knew, knew he was going to do I it. I knew it was coming. I get, asked, <laughs> I get asked this question a lot. And it's crazy because like, the answer I'm about to give you is like that one out of 50 people answer mm. that I don't have a top five. And it's in, it is impossible. <laughs> it is impossible. And it's only because I, I – as a producer and an artist, mm. there are a lot of other things that I look towards yeah. mm. versus it just being lyrics. It's like, you can rap great, you know what I'm saying? But if don't nobody want to hear this record, how you gonna get to the top five? Yeah, mm. yeah. that's real though. So we'll, we'll make it even more to fit you. Five rappers you would like to produce for? Man, I can't. They produce for themselves. Oh, the one so it'd be Kanye. Yeah, it's like, it's, you know, it's <laughs> yeah. like it's Kanye, it's J Cole. It's, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like those. That's them. You know, you can ask me who I like. You know, I can tell you that. Yeah. You know, of course, Kanye, J Cole, Kendrick. I'm gonna slide uh, Childish Gambino in that list. That's a good. That's a good. Yeah. You know, um, I like. I like the the relationship between Drake and his producer. Yeah, him and 40. Mm. Him and 40, that's a real, uh, I like that connection. I know a lot of people who are really close with their producers and it it makes a way better record. No Absolutely. matter what kind of record it is, mm. you can feel the connection in that record versus anybody who just picks up a beat. You know, that's even with me, people I produce for personally and then people who just get records out of you know, random. You can hear the difference, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of I don't know if a lot of producers will admit that. You no, know, that's you, that's you true. Can it, you can tell if I was there or not. You know, but it, it happens. Yeah. yeah, you can really tell the difference. That's the thing. It's like when you when you in the studio and you working and, and y'all vibing. There are some things that you can take out. Like you know, it's it's right there. If y'all like you and Hennessy in the lab, y'all working, mm -hmm. and Hennessy's like, man, I don't I don't like that synth. 
you can take that synth out right then and right, there and right, try right. something else and, and, and you know go for it as opposed to man hey, hey jock bc the hottest one out there right now man hey send me 10 and now yeah. i'm picking from the 10 you know what i'm saying right. it's like and at that point it's i guess it's up to you to be like well let me go back and do this but most artists that once they pick that 10 that one out of that 10 they ready to go they already on recorded they ready to go like they they in love yeah. with that how it sounds right there and it's, right. it's hard for you to go back and do that post-production because they fell in love with how the beat is even yeah, if you just left it as a skeleton like for the add on to it they don't get that kind of yeah they mm-hmm. fall they fall in love with skeletons yeah no the other issue is like emailing beats is mm. it's a it's the quickest way for beats to get ate up yeah and when i say mm. ate up i mean ate up as in they ain't even use them no oh. like explain that then explain it to the people yeah. that don't you, understand uh, it's almost like you need that physical relationship. Sometimes it does, sometimes it's not gonna work out. Mm-hmm. You know, you bring a producer over and it's like, yeah, I make this record. And they're like, how did this record come out like that? It's like I was in the room with him, you know. Mm-hmm. So we knew where to go, where not to go, what instruments to use, what instruments not to use. And then sometimes, where I email, I email some of the best beats, and I will never hear from them again because they, they, yeah, you you didn't get a chance to sell it email to them. And, yeah, and it's like I'm not even talking anybody into it. It's just that you, you get a list of like five beats. You listen to all five of them. If the first two seconds doesn't reel you in, mm-hmm. you know, yeah, you're not even waiting for it to drop. You just first two seconds don't reel you in. It's like all right, send me five more. Yeah, send I got me five you. more. Send me five more. You listen to so many beats, you don't know what you want to listen to now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, that's about 25 beats that got ate up. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, you know what I'm saying? Re- yeah. yeah. I, I know, man. I understand. Sorry. I understand exactly where you're coming from. So you don't, re- you don't resend those out to different people? I mean, yeah, they, they always, like, beats always get shopped. Right. They, go, they always go different places, and people take them. You know, sometimes it's the same people. Mm. They don't even know. They're like, mm. what, how come you never played this for me? <laughs> like, I played this for you a year ago. Right, you know? right, right, right. Yeah, and that's, in that situation. It, it happens sometimes, but... And sometimes I'm I'm so on to making the next beat hmm. that I forget. Gotcha. Yeah, it's like you gotta make you already gotta have so many. So it's like I keep making them, keep making them, keep making them. So by the time they bring up a beat, I'm like, that's old. They're like it's two weeks ago. That's old. Do yeah. do 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 you get that question um from artists that seems I don't know if artists send this question out pretty much but it seemed like it if you listen to the radio could you could you make me one of those type of beats <laughs> hey, can you make me that can you make yeah, me like march you, madness yeah bro? can you give that me is. that <laughs> like you need to go out holla at that's metro like, boom and sunny that's, <laughs> that's like the most common question yeah, yeah. That we get asked there's never no one just ever comes in and, and knows what they want you mm. know or or just let me hear anything it's always it's probably like the last hot record you heard on the radio mm. and then I want to be like so and so, you know. And then that's where all that ghost producing comes from, mm. where you hear a beat and you think it was DJ Mustard, but it wasn't. Yeah, that's, that's what happens. Yeah, that's where all that ghost producing comes from. And people, some people get hot from it, some people don't. Do you think artists today just don't really like to sit, <clears throat> have the patience to sit in the studio and 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 make everything from scratch? You know, what I'm saying they'd rather just have the two track or, or whatnot. I mean. What do you think that the patience is not there or what? Like, because it is a lot of records out here that definitely yeah. sounds like sounds the last exactly. thirteen I heard. <laughs> and, uh, the patience has been gone a long time. Ago. Long time ago. That was a long time ago. You can tell who sits down with their records and who's just pushing them out. Right. You mm-hmm. know. So that's just that is how it is, and we just kind of we gotta kind of just cherish who does. Yeah. Um, yeah. 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 You know, who does take the time off to work on those records? So. Right. Absolutely, man. So look, before we get out of here, man, like tell the people, um, you know, the, the project that you got you pushing right now, man, and, and you know um, how they can connect with you if they if they want beats, if they want verses, you know, mm-hmm. what's the best way for people to connect? I mean, they contact no genre. I really don't remember that email right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they can uh, they can always contact me and mine. That's jobbeats at gmail dot com. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm not afraid to put that out. I love emails mm-hmm. and. Uh, I wish I was pushing that project right now. <laughs> you don't, you don't, you don't want to push it, or what's the, what's the story? I mean, I, I do, but it's it's old yeah. to me at least. Mm. You know, that's uh, 2014, and I've learned new things, new programs, new uh, genres of music. Mm. So my uh, latest project is actually the Good Beats, and that's on that's actually yeah, it's on SoundCloud too. Right? Yeah, SoundCloud, SoundCloud, SoundCloud Dad yeah. Piff, everywhere. Um, 
yeah, that's that's my latest project, and I'm working on my next one, and I'm using a lot of patience. Mm. <laughs> I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave it at that because yeah. I, I see it in his face what he meant by that. So we're not gonna go into that. We're just using a lot of <laughs> patience, right? There. I feel you, brother. Hey, you heard, you heard, you, right you heard what he said though. He's, hmm? he's like, you know, he said that's old. Then yeah. he said 2014. Yeah, <laughs> that's crazy. I mean, th- he has the mind of. See, that's that producer mind coming yeah. out, though. That's what that is. It's like, with, as a producer, it's like you can tell he, he's thinking about always next because mm. everybody asking you for this beat. Yeah. So you got to think, you know, two or three years down the line because if, if not, you'll get stuck in your next thing. You know, 10 people got that same type mm-hmm. beat, and now everybody come to Jock for that type of beat, like how they come into Mustard, right. how they came to Lil John, how, And it, it, it happens over and over again. You know what I mean? So the only way you can do that is either you got to tell them, no, let me make something from scratch for you, mm-hmm. or you got to give in to it and make that bread real quick. It's it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a tough thing it's to a, do, you know. It's a real it's, it's a real big hustle. Yeah, it's like when you need the money, it's like well, I can flip it for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then there was time. There was times where it's like, yeah, all right, I got to make a good impression because you know I can't be stuck doing this my whole life. Mm-hmm. It's, it's really like how they how they used to say like it was similar to being a dope dope boy mm. like you know you get in hustle you don't you don't want to sell it to him because you know you know the outcome of it yeah you know and they usually dope dealers usually have a family member on the same thing that they sell mm. so they don't they really don't want to do it but they got to do it to make some money real quick gotcha gotcha man well look man yeah um we're gonna show you a video you can throw it to the people um oh. We, you can introduce it, man. I don't feel right introducing somebody. And, 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 and you got to you got to come back too, man. I, I yeah, feel yeah. like this conversation it was, uh, it was too short. We got to yeah, yeah, give yeah, a long, yeah. long, longer mm-hmm. conversation. I know. Yeah, yeah. Show. Sure. Hey, y'all got my number. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Oh, got it definitely. Well, this video is uh, it's pronounced Yarwas. <laughs> uh, that's for Young Rich Wild and Stupid, produced mm-hmm. by me, and that's uh, that's on the No Genre mixtape. Mm-hmm. Uh, that dropped a good while ago. Mm-hmm. Couple yeah. Of months back. yeah, I dropped it a good while ago. I'm in an Afro wig, so y'all can, <laughs> y'all can enjoy that. And that's uh, that's probably me acting a fool. Yeah, on the yeah, day yeah. They just happen to catch it on camera. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Were y'all at Linux? Were y'all at Linux? Today? Well, we were at Linux, all right. <laughs> Video yeah. is crazy, Security man. Security knows. Uh, <laughs> tell me y'all didn't get kicked out. Y'all did not get kicked out of Linux. Because I know it was guerrilla style, right? Y'all just walked in that thing, like, we're just going to shoot a video. <laughs> tell you what, if you look at that first episode, that first episode of that documentary, yeah, I yeah. Did. you can see us. I say, say hello to the police, y'all. Oh, I, I oh, did. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Us, that's that's what happened. Getting, okay, that's us getting escorted by the whole Linux security. <laughs> God damn, <laughs> that's funny, man. All right, yeah. Man. so yeah, check out the video. We'll be right back. Good Hennessy show. Right.